In this video, let us discuss MCQs on network analysis. If you are preparing for competitive exams, this video will be very much helpful. 33rd question, what they are given is, we have to find the current in 5 ohm resistor. So let me treat this potential to be at ground. So with respect to ground, this node is at 5 volts. This node is at 5 volts. And we are having another two principal nodes. This principal node, I'm going to call it as V1 and this one I'm going to call it as V2. Let me apply nodal at V1. So I'll be getting minus 1 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 2 plus V1 minus V5 divided by 5 which is equals to 0. Sorry, V1 minus 5 divided by 5 which is equals to 0. I'm solving most of the problems by nodal analysis. So you should be a master in the case of nodal analysis. Right. So what I'll be getting is minus 10 plus 5 times of V1 minus 5 times of V2 plus 2 times of V1 minus 10 which is equals to 0. So what I'll be getting is 7 times of V1 minus 5 times of V2 which is equals to 20. Let me call this one as equation 1. Right. Next, let me apply nodal at V2. Let me apply nodal analysis at V2. What I'll be getting is V2 minus V1 divided by 2 plus V2 divided by 2 plus V2 minus 5 divided by 4 which is equals to 0. Which is equals to 0. In, in exam you should not take more time. You should solve this problem in just 2 minutes. Maximum you can take 2 minutes. Right. So I'll be getting 2 times of. Let me take an LCM. I'll be getting 2 times of V2 minus 2 times of V1 plus 2 times of V2 plus V2 minus 5 which is equals to 0. So I'll be getting minus 2 times of V1 plus 2, 4, 5, 5 times of V2 which is equals to 5. Let me call this one as equation 2. So what I'll be getting is equation 1 and equation 2, I'll be getting 7V1 minus 5V2 which is equals to 20 minus 2V1 plus 5V2 which is equals to 5. V2 terms are getting cancelled. 5V1 equals to 25. So I'll be getting V1 equals to 5 volts. So I'll be getting V1 equals to 5 volts. When V1 equals to 5 volts, what is the value of the current that is I? I equals to V1 minus 5 divided by 5, which is equals to 5 minus 5 divided by 5, which is equals to 0 amperes. So I'll be getting the current that is flowing in 5 ohm resistance is 0 amperes. Nothing but current will not be flowing. Able to follow? Let us solve 34th question. What they are given is, what should be the value of RL for the condition of maximum power transfer? So, we know that we are having three cases in the case of maximum power transfer theorem. So, let me consider with respect to source and let me consider with respect to load. So, if source is pure resistive network and if load is also pure resistive network, then what should be the condition? Let me assume or let me take the source impedance as RS and load impedance to be RL. So what is the condition on RL is RL should be equals to RS. At that time you can achieve maximum power transfer. Able to follow? Next, if the source is a complex, nothing but it, the impedance R, Rx and Jxs, right? If the load is a pure resistive that is RL, then RL is given by under root of Rs square plus x square it can be even capacitor also when it is capacitor it should be minus over here again third case when source is a complex conjugate and load is rl plus j xl that means rl should be complex conjugate of source let me denote source impedance as zs and load impedance to be zl then zl should be a complex conjugate of xs ZL should be a complex conjugate of ZS. If it is plus over here, here it should be minus. If here it should be minus or here it should be plus. Right? So they have given 8 plus J6. 8 plus J6 is a source resistance. Let me call it as ZS. They are asking what is the value of RL you have to choose such that you will be getting maximum power transfer. So RL equals to under root of RL square plus X square that is 8 square plus 6 square what I'll be getting is 100. So I'll be getting RL equals to 10 ohms. That is option number C is correct. Able to follow? These three cases are very, very important. 
Next, 35th question what they are asking is you have to write the y parameters for the given circuit. So I don't know how to calculate y parameters but I know how to calculate z parameters. So in this method I am going to teach you how to find z parameters first from z how to calculate y parameters. Blindly you learn only one parameters that is let me consider z parameters. From z parameters you derive on spot right. So if I am taking the z parameters value what I will be getting is z parameters that is z11 what is the value of z11 it is 11 what is the value of z12 it is 1 what is z21 2 to 1 it is what 1 2 to is 11 able to follow so i got v1 equals to z11 equals to 11 times of i1 plus z12 equals to 1 times of i2 similarly v2 equals to z21 that is 1 i1 plus z22 is 11 times of i2 right so let me call this one as equation 1 let me call this one as equation 2 what is the parameter you want you want y parameters you want y parameters so how y parameters is expressed i1 and i2 are dependent elements right which is equals to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 similarly i2 is y21 v1 plus y22 v2 y21 v1 plus y22 v2 let me call this one as equation 3 and let me call this one as equation 4 so i want the expression to be in terms of i1 and i2 so let me express i2 from equation 2 from equation 2 what i'll be getting is 11 times of i2 which is equals to v2 minus i1 that is i2 equals to 1 by 11 times of v2 minus i1 right so let me substitute this equation in equation 1 so in 1 if i am substituting what i'll be getting is so from equation 1 equation 1 how i can write is v1 equals to 11 times of i1 plus i2 what is the value of i2 it is 1 divided by 11 times of v2 minus i1 v2 minus i1 so what i'll be getting is v1 equals to let me take i1 terms as common 11 minus 1 divided by 11 times of i1 plus v2 divided by 11 on simplifying i'll be getting v1 equals to 120 divided by 11 times of i1 plus v2 divided by 11 so on expressing i1 i1 equals to v1 minus v2 divided by 11 that is 120 divided by 11 so I will be getting i1 equals to 11 divided by 120 times of v1 minus 11 and 11 will get cancelled. So I will be getting 1 divided by 120 times of v2. So let me call this one as equation 5. Compare equation 5 with compare equation 5 with equation 3. So what I will be getting is y11 which is equals to 11 divided by 120 and y12 which is equals to minus 1 divided by 120 minus 1 divided by 120 able to follow so y11 equals to 11 divided by 120 and y12 equals to minus 1 divided by 120 so let me substitute equation 5 in equation 3 what i'll be getting is i'll be getting i2 equals to what i'll be getting is i2 equals to minus minus v1 divided by 120 plus 11 times of v2 divided by 120 so what i'll be getting is y21 which is equals to minus 1 divided by 120 and y22 which is equals to 11 divided by 120 i'll be getting 11 divided by 120 so what is the matrix for y so y11 which is equals to 11 divided by 120 and y12 which is equals to minus 1 divided by 120 and y21 which is equals to minus 1 divided by 120 and y22 which is equals to 11 divided by 120 so this matrix is both reciprocal and symmetric so it follows both reciprocity as well as symmetricity able to follow that sixth question what they are asking is we have to find the value of this current i we know that a resistance in parallel to a voltage source you can replace by your open circuit. So the final circuit what I will be getting is I will be getting a 10 volt battery 
a 10 volt battery in series to this i'll be having a current source this resistance is 4 ohm and i'll be having a one more resistance valued 1 ohm and a current source of 10 amperes and a current source of 10 amperes this node let me call it as vx and this node i'm going to assume to be ground so let me make use of nodal analysis if i'm applying nodal analysis let me consider all the currents are leaving the node so what i'll be getting is left side current will be vx minus 10 divided by 4 plus downwards current will be vx divided by 1 minus 10 which is equals to 0 which is equals to 0 so what i'll be getting is vx minus 10 plus 4 times of vx minus 10 which is equals to 0 so what i'll be getting 5x sorry this one will be lcm if i'm taking lcm it is it will be 40 so i'll be getting 5 times of vx which is equals to 50 or vx equals to 10 volts i'll be getting vx equals to 10 volts so when vx equals to 10 volts what is the current so i got this node this node value equals to 10 volts then what is this current that is i i equals to 10 minus vx divided by 4 which is 10 minus 10 divided by 4 which is equals to 0 amperes hence option a is correct thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you